Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea and today we are getting undressed with me and taking off this makeup and I'm gonna show you my nighttime skincare routine. So many of you all have asked me to share with you what I use for my skincare. I felt why not do it while I'm taking off my makeup? Of course, I will be uploading a daytime skincare routine and I will definitely get that up within the week of this video. So stay tuned for that. But before we get into this video, I definitely want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Well, even though we are taking off the makeup, we still have a little outfit of the day. <laughs> so this is a nice little loungewear, um, little ensemble that I tend to wear in the evenings outside of my pajamas. This is a crop top hoodie from Target, really, really cute and comfy. I have, do I have three of these, I think? Two or three of these. I love how comfortable they are. Um, I love that the cropped length is not too short, so it actually covers my belly, so it's not, you know, too short up here. And then these pants are from Amazon, and y'all, I wish y'all could feel how soft they are. They're so, so soft. A nice cuff at the ankle, and they're just great lounge pants. Definitely something that I like to throw on in the evening after I've taken my clothes off. And then I picked up these comfy slippers. If y'all could just see how soft they are. <laughs> um, these came from Amazon as well. I think these are around like $18.99. Very cute and comfy. They do have like a little bit of padding, so they do offer a little bit of cushion, but they feel so comfortable. Um when your feet go into them and then right at the arch of the foot they do have a little bit of support so your feet aren't totally flat on the ground and if i seem a little low energy as tired balls i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so tired so it's not that anything's wrong i'm just ready to go to sleep so first let's start taking off the makeup just to give you a little background of my skincare routine i have been on my skincare journey for about four years or so and I've tried a lot of different products and I still am trying products but I have narrowed down the products that really work for me and one thing that I've learned is you do not need a boatload of products to get the results that you want okay let me make it personal I don't need a boatload of products to get the results that I want. The best thing that I can suggest for finding your skincare routine is to really just try products. Be very aware of what works for you and what does not work for you. And a great way of doing that is using one product at a time. Try a new product, use it for a couple of weeks, make sure you're paying attention to how your skin reacts. And if that works well, no reaction, try another product. That way you're not trying like, you know, three, four products at the same time. Then your skin has a reaction and you're not really sure where the reaction came from. Okay, so first let's take off our makeup. I love using the Lila B a glow cleansing butter. So Lila B did send this to me and I really have concluded that I prefer taking my makeup off with some type of cleansing balm. I've tried cleansing oils, I've tried, you know, your standard micellar water, and I like something kind of creamy-ish, balmy <laughs> to take off my makeup. So when they sent this, I was like, ooh, I wanna try it. Um, clearly, I have loved it. So I actually, purchased another one during their black friday sale so i have this one as my backup when i run out of this one because i am i'll probably use this up within the next week so glad i got my backup it smells so good it smells like lavender so if lavender does irritate your skin then i would say stay away from this but i love 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 how like soothing it smells it reminds me of nighttime relaxing calming down and so when i'm rubbing this over my face not only is it taking off my makeup extremely well but it's also helping to like calm myself down and relax me while i'm preparing to go to sleep but before i do that i forgot i gotta take off my eye makeup first of all let me take off these lashes well i have tried multiple eye makeup removers and the one that i keep going back to 
is good old Neutrogena. So this is the oil-free eye makeup remover and it is the best for me. I don't know how many times I've purchased this. I can't even begin to tell you, but it is my favorite. Of course, it's really affordable, but I love that I can literally take off all of my eye makeup. It never irritates my eye. I also don't feel like I have to rub too hard to get all of my eye makeup off. It takes off my waterproof eye makeup. It takes off my lash glue residue. It just does a really, really good job. Okay, eye makeup is off and we are good to go. Now on to the Lila B A Glow Cleansing Butter. Now this will irritate my eyes if I do get it into my eyes and that's why I always go in with an eye makeup remover. So I take a generous amount of the cleansing butter and just apply it all over my skin like I would almost a lotion. And it's just, like I said, I really enjoy the calming scent, the relaxing scent. I love lavender. So it's one of those scents that I thoroughly enjoy, um, especially when I do want to relax. But as you can see, it is melting off my makeup quite nicely. And also, when I go to rinse off my face, my face does not feel stripped. It doesn't feel dry. And like, it's begging for some type of moisturizer. It feels really nice and hydrated. That's another reason why I like cleansing balms because your skin does not feel so dry. Um, Pharmacy has a really good one as well that I like. I think Pharmacy is a clean brand at Sephora. So if you wanna, excuse me, try that one. If you know the lavender oil would not be a good one. I really did enjoy that one. So I'm gonna go rinse this off and I will come back and show you what my skin looks like just from rinsing off the cleansing. Okay, so my face is still a little damp, um, but this is what my face is looking like just from taking off the cleansing butter. My face does look pretty clean, but I would not dare leave my face like this. I would never at this point throw on a nighttime moisturizer and go to bed. My skin is not clean enough. And I think that um, it is very important to double cleanse. So if you've never heard of that, Phrase that's basically washing your face twice. So using some type of makeup remover to take off your makeup and then going in with a cleanser to actually cleanse the face. I am a firm believer of doing that when I wear makeup. Now, if I didn't have on makeup, then I would just go straight in with my cleanser, call it a day. But I've noticed that if I try to go in with like a cleansing balm only, I don't get, I don't clean my face. I don't really get a deep cleanse with that or if I were to just go in with my cleanser. Sometimes the cleanser that I use is not the best for taking off makeup. So once again, I'm not really getting all of the dirt makeup off my face, which can then lead to breakouts. So what I am going to do next is cleanse my face. <sighs> this Contour Aero Cleanse facial device, facial cleansing device is, it is something that I did not know that I needed, <laughs> that I'm so glad that I have. So I uh, was sent this actually by Camera Ready Cosmetics. And when I first got it, I was just like, I don't really know if I like it. I'm like a traditional girl. I use my hands and like, that's pretty good for me. Used it for a little bit and I liked it, but I was just like, well, I don't know if this is a necessity. So I put it down. Um, felt like my face was breaking out due to probably trying a lot of skincare products. And then also, let me tell you, because of COVID, on, and then on top of that, me being pregnant, I have been so lax on my skincare routine um, in terms of washing my face day and night. <laughs> so I was like, let me get back on it. Let me pick up this again to see if this will like really deep clean, deep clean my skin. And it does. I definitely notice a difference. And I feel like this device really does help to get deep within my pores to clean out my skin with any residue that might still be on my skin after using my makeup remover. So what makes this device different, it's called an Aero Cleanse cleansing brush because it it has it uses pockets of air to create more bubbles from your cleanser. And then those bubbles are supposed to pick up more dirt and things like that. And I'm so glad that I have this. Um, and if for some reason this were to break, I would purchase it for sure. My cleanser of choice is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I have been loving this. I actually talked about this in my recent monthly favorites as my favorite cleanser right now. It does not have fragrance. It cleanses the skin very well. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and stripped after using it. So 
love this. And this cleanser is $12, so much more affordable than some of our other cleansers on the market. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use this device on camera. What I like to do is I will wet the brush and then I will put two pumps of the cleanser on the brush and I will run the brush underwater. So I'll turn it on and run it under, underwater just to get the bubbles started. And then I will wash my face. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom and wet it and then I'll come in here and show you all everything. As you can see, there is a bit of residue on my brush just from picking up the residue of the makeup that was left over. So what I always do is I will rinse this off, I will rinse off my face, and then I'll add one more pump of cleanser and go back over my face again to really make sure that it's clean. So I'm gonna do that in the bathroom. You've already seen this in the works and I'll come back after my face is clean. I just noticed I got some makeup on my hoodie. Oh well, okay. All right, so face is cleansed. Something that I learned from Jackie Ina that like made so much sense when she said it was, when I go to wipe my face off, I do not use a towel, I do not use a wash rag, I use cotton pads. And what she said was basically, don't use your towel, your used towel or your used washcloth to wipe off your face. You wanna use something clean. So for me, the easiest thing for me to use is my cotton pads. And so I go in then with a cotton pad to dry my face. And so if you're looking at my cotton pad, it's nice and clean and my face is nice and clean. I use just regular cotton rounds <laughs> from Walmart. So after I double cleanse, I always go in with a toner. What I do look for in a toner is a toner that is not going to strip the skin, but that's going to further cleanse the skin. And then if there's some additive to the toner, such as a glycolic acid, or if there's niacinamide, like those types of toners, I'm always down for. So one of my favorite types of toners is from Thayer's. I love the Thayer's toner. I love the lavender scent best. Um, I've used that one for two or three years now, on and off, to, you know, in between trying new toners. The current one that I'm using right now is the Pixie Glow Tonic. So Pixie did send this to me and I was like, let me give this a try because I hadn't really ever tried this. This has 5% glycolic acid and it's an exfoliating toner. So I will use this toner um, on nights that I'm not using one of my favorite skincare pro products and it's the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. Let me tell you something, this $6 bottle of goodness is the best skincare product I have ever tried. And I'm being a little extra, but all jokes aside, I used to spend $90 on the Drunk Elephant Glycolic Serum. I think that serum is beautiful. I think it is, it works very well. I bought that serum for a year. I got my husband to use that serum because I raved about it so much. But every time I went to go purchase it, I just died a little bit <laughs> on the inside um, because it was just so expensive. So when I heard about this exfoliating treatment, I was like, hey, it is worth the try. So it's formulated with AHAs and BHAs. Those are chemical ex exfoliators that both work together to penetrate this deeper into the skin to further help to exfoliate the skin so that you can have your skin slough off the dead skin cells and then leaving behind more radiant glowing skin. So I am a huge proponent of chemical exfoliators. Thoroughly enjoy them, always will use them, much more prefer chemical exfoliators versus physical ones. So I tried this and I said, oh my word, how is this $6 chemical exfoliator <laughs> matching, and in my opinion, a little bit better than the $90 one? So I immediately converted, and I've been using this one now for the past couple of years. Um, so it says to use this one up to three times per week, and um, you're not supposed to use it with retinol or any other acids that might irritate the skin. So like I said, if I'm using this 
pixie glue tonic then i'm not going to use my overnight exfoliating treatment so when do i use this if i have a breakout or two or three um i will use this one it helps to really clear up my skin within a matter of days and i used to have really bad hormonal acne like all along my jawline and you can still see some scarring from when i used to get it a lot and um, this would really help to clear up my acne so much faster, but it was gentle enough to where it didn't irritate my skin. And I really felt like, man, like this is a product that I really can't live without. If I am gonna use the overnight exfoliating treatment, then I'll use another toner. So these toners I use just based on how I feel. I like all of them. They're all very good hydrating toners. So it literally is just like, how do I feel tonight? <laughs> this is what I'm gonna use. I recently got this one. This is called Mambino Organics Balancing Facial Mist, and it has rose water and cucumber in it. I actually got this from a subscription box that um, is called Bump Box. So it's for um, women that are pregnant or women who have just had babies. And so they send you five products a month and it's either great for you as a pregnant mom or it's great for you and the baby. So I thought I'd give it a try. You know, this might be my last hoorah being pregnant. Um, and this is really, really nice. I've only had this for like a week and a half and I've already used a good amount of it. As of late, when I'm gonna go in with this, I'll actually use this. It's really refreshing on the face and it's really hydrating on the face. I also have the Lancome Tonique uh, toner and this one is really nice too. I'm still wrapping my mind around this toner if I'm being honest. I like it, but I'm not sold on it just yet in the sense of I don't know if I would purchase this again obviously i haven't used a lot of it so i'm still gathering my thoughts on this one but one that i know that i do love is this one by fenty beauty this is the fat water toner i primarily use this in the day but like i said if i'm going in with this one and for some reason i just need something more hydrating um i'll go in with this one so those are my toners of choice if i'm going to be using the overnight exfoliating treatment okay once we're done. So going in now with the Glow Tonic, I've been using this Glow Tonic toner for a good month and I actually enjoy it. Um, I like how it does provide my skin with some hydration and I'm definitely wanting to use it now because I've been sitting here for a good while chit chatting. <laughs> um, but it's not irritating to the skin. It doesn't cause any tingling effects to my skin and I just really, really like it. Onto another product. That I have recently been just ooh, ooh la la loving. So I've been using this Tula Skincare Wrinkle Treatment Drops and this is a retinol alternative. So can't use retinol because I'm pregnant and I wasn't a huge retinol user before because I have tried retinol before and what I didn't like about retinol is that it thinned the skin and how I knew it was kind of thinning my skin was when I'd go to get my brows done my um my my brow stylist would nick my skin but it wasn't because of her technique because she's been doing my brows for three years now i want to say it was because of the retinol that i was using and she even asked like have you changed your skincare and i was like no and she's like are you using retinol and i was like actually i am and she's like it's the retinol so i'm here to tell you all that this does not thin the skin as a matter of fact i got my brows done recently no nicking of the brow, no nicking of the skin, and it feels so good on the skin. I like the glow that it leaves. You can use this day and night, and so that's how I use it. And it does offer some tingling sensation, especially when you're first using it, but I've gotten used to it. And like right now, I put it on, I have no tingling of the skin. I would say if you have never tried any type of chemical exfoliator, or any type of like retinol, retinoid, then I would go in with a small amount of this if this is something that you wanna try. Um, and maybe use this like every other day, every couple of days until your skin gets used to it. But I use this morning and night and I really, really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. I feel like it has helped to kind of firm my skin just a little bit. And um, it's one of those products where you're like, 
I can't see everything it's doing, but I know it's doing much more than what I can see. So when I run out of this, definitely repurchasing this one because it like now that I know it's working, I don't even want to purchase a retinol when I'm able to use it because it doesn't thin my skin and I don't feel uncomfortable using it because of that particular fact. After that, I'm almost done. I go in with oils. So I know some people like to use a nighttime cream. I am a believer of using oils at night. And I started using oils at night, once again, when my face was really breaking out some years ago. And I remember my doctor recommending vitamin E oil to use um, to heal my C-section scars. And so I remember like looking at my face, I had you know these scars from my acne, and I was just like, what can I use to help you know my scars and I was like vitamin E oil and I had some so I started using that at night along with my overnight exfoliating treatment and like I just fell in love with how like my skin felt good the vitamin E oil helped to clear my scars and then in the morning I noticed my skin didn't look as dull and as dry and it just after that I was sold so <laughs> I've used like marula oil in the past i've used um oh what's the other oil i can't think of it but the two oils that like have stayed in my skincare routine at night are going to be vitamin e oil and rosehip seed oil which i am currently out of but i just ordered some from beautylish from good molecules so hopefully it will be here this week so i'm not going to use it on camera today but it is en route to me <laughs> um and what i normally do is i'll just take or three drops like that and just rub it all over my face and y'all this is about this is my favorite part of my skincare <laughs> rubbing this oil on my skin after it's so nice and clean and it feels smooth because you know of the products that I've used but this oil is just so soothing so so soothing I started using rosehip seed oil for my acne um it's a really good oil if you do have breakouts. It absorbs into the skin quickly, but it's not gonna clog the pores, so it's not going to be an oil that will irritate the skin, further causing you more um, acne. And even though I don't have acne issues like I used to, it was just an oil that I just stuck with um, because it also has some other really good benefits for the skin. It's not just for people who have acne. Um, but I love these two oils together. Now, I recently got an eye cream from Tatcha when I ordered their skincare cleanser, moisturizer, and an eye cream set. So I've been using this eye cream lately, but I will say this, I'm gonna be real honest with you, I'm not totally sold on eye cream because I normally, when I don't have an eye cream, I just put my oil around my eyelids. And that has been what, that's what I've been doing for my eyes up until like a month ago when I ordered the kit during the Sephora sale. So I, although I like this eye cream, it's nice. I don't know if I'm totally sold yet to actually purchase this again or look into other eye creams. Now that very well could change as I age and I have, you know, more concerns with my eye and needing, you know, something maybe a little bit stronger. But as of right now, I'm gonna use this Tasha eye cream and then I'll see once like I run out, I'll see if I feel like I need to repurchase it. So I can't tell you if this is a necessity yet because I'm not convinced that it is um, because my oils have been doing right by me <laughs> so far. Um, but like I said, I will keep y'all updated, you know, as time progresses, as I get near to finishing this. But I do like how soothing this is to the eye area. It's not heavy. Um, and I think it is nice. I do think it's nice. Just not totally sold on if I need it. And the last thing that I like to do at night before I go to bed is put on a lip balm. This is the Milani Rose Butter Mask. And I... <laughs> I've had this for so long. <laughs> I've had it for so long. This reminds me a lot of the, um, ooh, what is that lip mask called? Y'all know what it is. But it reminds me a lot of that lip mask because I've tried that lip mask a couple times. And 
This one's just really nice. It feels good on the lips. It moisturizes my lips. I keep it right here in my vanity and I will definitely purchase that again when I run out because I just really enjoy it. And guys, that is it. That is my nighttime skincare routine. If I feel the need some nights, I'll put on a little mask. Um, but a lot of times I'm too tired to even do that. <laughs> so I'm usually just sticking to, you know, my makeup remover with Neutrogena for my eyes and then Lila B for my face. I will go in with my contour wand and my cleanser of choice, which right now is the Good Molecules Rose Water Cleanser. Then I'm going to go in with a toner and depending on what's going on with my skin, I will use one of the four toners that I shared with you. After that, I'm going in with my retinol alternative and then I end the night with my oils and right now eye cream but before I got the eye cream I just ended the night with oils and this is what I look like at night when I wake up in the morning I'm obviously not looking as dewy but my skin looks really nice and it does not look dry um and it you know it still looks like there's life to it and this is like I said I I will continue to try new skincare products because I just like trying new things but the components of my skincare that will always stay the same. I'm going to use a makeup remover for my eyes and my face. I'm going to cleanse the skin then with a cleanser. I'm going to use a toner when I need it, chemical exfoliator, and then oils at night. Like those are the components that have to be in my skincare routine because for my skin and over the years that I've been really focusing on trying to find products that work for me, these are the products that work. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know down below what your skincare routine is for the evening. What are some of your must have products that you have tried and they work consistently for you? I'd love to know what you guys use at night. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.